Hello, collective, or whatever the fuck you want to call yourselves. How are you? Uh, I'm doing a reading through here, basically for two reasons. One, it's hot in my house, so, you know, I'm not going to be on camera right at the moment on my phone. And number two, my phone is dead. Like, I totally forgot to charge it at work, and I even brought my charging cord, and I just got through with my second double, so I am free for the next two days. Oh, actually, who is supposed to get their bonuses this month? I'll announce it through here. Oh, wow. I have to say, um... I am very much impressed with the fact that, like, you know, you guys are, like, right there. Let's see. Who is getting their bonuses? Mm -mm -mm. Sorry, I should have, like, done this sooner, but I just now thought about it, because tomorrow is, like, Monday, and it's like, oh, yeah. 81, 82. Ooh, Pisces, you got, like, 1.1K. Gemini, you have 2.4. Jesus. Who is next to that? Capricorn's got 958. Alright, so Capricorn, Gemini, and Pisces. You guys are getting bonus readings this month since you got the most. Because that's how I do. Okay, so that's where we go. Sorry for like wasting your time. <laughs> anyway, let's get into this reading. Have you guys been doing good? Because I've been doing just fine. Remember, this is for all signs. If it resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. It is just a card game. Do not go in on me. Do not drag me. Or I shall drag you. <laughs> and I will drag you with a righteousness. Because I'm just like that person. Like, you don't fuck with me unless you want fuck fuck games to be played. Well, not really. I'll probably just, like, say thank you and then, like, just ignore you for the rest of the time being as I'm on this planet, because that's just how I do. It's like, all right, thanks for um, hitting me up with whatever or something, dude. I guess, okay, yeah. I'm sorry I made you upset. I don't know. People are weird like that. Like, I don't know what it is. It, like, I guess it's a Capricorn thing, because Capricorns deal with this a lot, but it's like, people just do not chill with us but i guess it's because we're always in our shadow side and people just don't recognize it between something else yeah look at this um seven of cups that's what we're reading for today um someone who's sick of dealing with whatever it is they've been dealing with like these cups no longer serve them um it's an empty feeling and since i'm on camcorder this is probably gonna be a longer reading because i got time I think after the bonus readings tomorrow, I'm probably going to take a couple a couple days off from reading because, like, I feel like Piccolo and Dragon Ball Z a bridge with my wrists. It's just like, oh, my wrists, because I, I did, I was knocking them out. I really was. Nothing against y'all, but, ooh. This person, whoever this is that we're picking up for today, class, um... They're so overwhelmed, I feel like they don't even know who they are. Like, I, I've been reading for some people who don't, but this is, like, this is because, like, whatever happens killed a part of themselves. Could have been dealing with a Leo. Someone might have lost their faith because they dealt with a Leo. There might have been death somewhere, and they're still dealing with all of the changes that come with it. Let me tell you something from my personal experience. Death changes a motherfucker. Like, you don't know what transformation is until somebody dies. Then you just don't know who the fuck you are anymore. And it's a crazy fucking feeling, because it's like you literally do not remember. Anyway, let's begin with this reading. Let's say hi to Gretchen and Cora. Hi, Gretchen. Hi, Cora. How are you doing today, too? Ugh. All right, so we got here the world. Someone's bringing things closer together to bring closure and for a new cycle to begin. That's almost like the eclipse coming up, we'll say, right? Uh, Ten of Pentacles, reverse. Someone's entering a new cycle because the way things ended, there wasn't a lack of closure. 
on her closing it themselves it's like look at this hole that this bitch is coming out she's just like where is the rest of the fucking story right and she has no idea um, no one's really giving her any answers so it's just kind of like you know oh, okay well you know what I'm just gonna make it up I'm gonna just make it up I cannot zoom out anymore that is sad I used to be able to see the entire thing on here I wonder what well I probably need to adjust the camera again that's why the arm is hanging pretty low uh, what is next? Death card. Scorpio. Someone might not be changing their ways. Someone might not be wanting to transform or not realize that they're doing it. Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Someone might be thinking that's about a Capricorn or... I always want to say that she's manipulating things so something doesn't change could be the other way around or her manipulations are causing something not to close correctly right I don't know like I don't feel like that's a bad thing though like I don't feel like what she's doing is terrible which is like kind of you know different for my perspective I feel like she's causing something I don't know. I don't think it's re like it's almost like a resurrection, but by her methods of doing so. But she's not transforming in the way I think someone would want her to. Right? We got the seven. Uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Alrighty, I got gotcha. you. I, I understand this a little better now. This Queen of Pentacles right here is the reason why all of this is going on. She's not. She's influencing the lack of change in all this. The lack of transformation. Okay, so I got this now. All right, I understand. Um, yeah. Trying to fight all things in order to get out of a negative mentality. So, she may be able to make a flower grow in the desert. This is a spread of hope and faith. Someone is putting their faith in shit. This is going to be rather inspirational, I feel like. I feel like this is actually a really... Um, this is not a bad this is not a bad spread so far, I have to say. Nothing about this speaks ill of anything. What's the vibration, my dears? The past and temperance? Six of cups and temperance? Someone's dreaming of somebody in the past who they were once very, very much attached to very clung to this is a oh maybe this is a twin flame one because this is kind of like uh okay that would make sense though there these two go huh this is like actually really i have to say whoever this person is i feel like this is not an entirely bad one i don't know what's going on but i can see what you're doing i can, I can see what this person's doing it's like something happened where they didn't get closure they're feeling stuck they want out of this mentality um this um world new cycle is coming in and it feels like that they're fighting it but they're really not it's just it's what they're thinking that they're fighting and they want out of this they want to start something new it's just this person does not realize that what they're doing with this lack of like changing some aspect of who they are or some scenario is what's bringing in the new change like them staying who i feel like them staying true to themselves sticking to themselves is what's causing these changes to happen and they're just not aware of it yet this is a rather i feel like this is a beautiful spread like it speaks to me a little bit But yeah, this is like, a, 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 this feels like hope. This is like somebody hoping against hope. But I don't know what they're trying to fight with this world yet. So that's what we're going to explore first. There is somebody here who is a dick. <laughs> Just straight up, like, mean. Straight up, like, there was somebody who was just very selfish, like they lit something on fire, someone's like, hey, that's a fire hazard. So they just left this there to burn? Like... 
and there was sorrow because of this person when they turned their back and just let everything burn. You know, burn to the ground like they left the fire, you know. We didn't start the fire. It was always burning since the world's return. No, no, he, he, he actually set the fire. He just made that song. He is singing that song because he's hoping you believe it or someone will believe it. But there, this person's really moping about it, too. And they're moving on to something different after this thing, after this person turned their back on them. They're going to close this chapter out. They're just going to be like, you know what? I am tired of moping over these fucking cups. I'm taking this somewhere else. And this could be the same person, I feel like. But it looks like they're making an offer to the past. Or they're going back to something from the past, but I, I don't know if that's right. It could be a different thing. Either someone's trying to offer something to them, or they're going somewhere else for a better offer. This lack of closure down here with the Ten of Pentacles, like something became separated. Family, business, communication, whatnot. Um, you know, they made a journey, they, they made a passionate action, but they weren't listening to their intuition, and, they, and their spirit guides were just sitting there like, what are you doing? I'm literally right in front of you. It's like they're kind of like... They are kind of uh, blinded by their um, need for something to do. Like, this could be two different people here. This is Aquarius' card, and this could also be um, Leo, Sag, Aries. I like saying Aries, because Aries is definitely the ones who will get the booty, too. Yeah, definitely booty getters. A lot of people say that Aries are cheaters, too, which is just like, I'm not sure about that. I've never, I've only dated one Aries. And that didn't work out because Aries apparently doesn't like the word no. And Capricorn's favorite word is no. <laughs> so it didn't end very well. But I feel like this is your two di totally different people. Like two totally different people. Stupid insects. <sighs> now, someone had a very nasty attitude and probably went after people. Um, but they decided to leave behind somebody who bested them mentally. They decided, you know what, fuck it, I'm just walking away from this. Take the fucking swords, right? Going out to wherever it is. But, here's this, and this is a Capricorn. So I, I very much feel like there's Earth in this. Someone could have Capricorn in their chart, or there could be Capricorn involved. But it's like... Someone was terrified of this Capricorn, but they are finally getting their courage, or there's something else here. Maybe it's a Leo dealing with a Capricorn, or it could just be somebody who really doesn't have as much courage as they pretended to be, or pretended to have, and when shit hit the fan, it, it, they kind of like... Let me see. It's kind of like when Sh Shaggy and Scooby finally got girlfriends and then they turned out to be aliens but they didn't know it right but it was the first time that those two had actually been brave because it was like they found something to love in order to fight for it I feel like this is what this person's done interesting hello kids what you doing rubbing on my leg like you love me niece Look at you. Ten of Pentacles reverse. What is it? You're gonna try to get my lap, aren't you? Okay, yeah. Someone was mourning some shit. Still ready to get over it, though. Still ready. Like, the bridge is right there. There's no mall. But at least it's the lace from these cups. Um, someone might actually go for advice with it, too. Ugh. Someone might be going to somebody they don't even aren't even aware yet who will actually help them out. It could be an older figure. It could be anybody, really. Hmm. What, kits? I know, kits. You went on my lap, don't you? Why must you do this? You were like, oh yeah. Look at that. Someone's getting advice so they can be happy by themselves. Or someone's getting guidance somehow. Someone has gone to something or somebody in order to achieve a pinnacle of their own. Um, after these cups have spilt. 
once again, Queen of Pentacles. So yeah, definitely could be a Capricorn. This person is, um, there was somebody they could rely on and there was also somebody, kitten, kitten, I know what you're trying to do, miss. What are you doing? Kitten, I kind of got a, I, dude, I got a, like she's right here. She's literally like got her head right there. You see? Okay, come on, you gotta get down. You can't be, like, standing on the table, dude. Rub the door. Go on, rub the door. You rub the door. You rub the door. There you go. Smash your head on it. But yeah, this, is, this could definitely be dealing with an earth sign or a Capricorn somewhere, I feel like. Because it's, like, definitely an earth sign who's making a better choice. Mind you, I did say at some point in some reading or another, I think it was Capricorn specifically, but somewhere along the way I said that Capricorns are the ones making the escape plan. And we are. Like, I just don't know what. <laughs> A lot of Capricorns seem to be doing escape plan shit. Trying to get away from somebody. This death card, right? Okay, so... Something hasn't changed, or a scenario, or a person, right? And I feel like it's more of a scenario. It's like this person was looking for somebody who disappeared. Probably with another person that they weren't aware is gone. Or they weren't aware they left. They were just, they just went out and was just like, hello, where'd you go? It could have been a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Um, turned their back, disappeared with some secrets that still need to be revealed, and just ran off in the dead of night with not really letting anywhere be known where to go. What else can you tell me about this? Hmm. Okay. They were bested by some, but they're, okay. This person was looking for somebody, but then they started running away from this person. Like, they did something that fucked them up mentally, or they outwitted them, or something. Something caused them to, like, run away. Like, terribly, terribly bad. That's really weird, like... Hmm. That is really... Like, why would you... Okay, someone went looking for somebody, and then they ran away when they found them or some shit. Or when they were, or when they were approached, or some sort of game. So, like... This is weird. Because, like, I'm kind of resonating with this. For anyone of you wondering, this is kind of a... <laughs> you're getting a little peek. But yeah, I'm totally like... I feel like I'm in this a little bit. Yeah! Snuck off from the grave with, like, treasures. I feel like. They took something from the dead. Yeah, because this person originally left these two swords in front of this person with the three swords, but now they have five. It's like they gained something after they left the shit for dead. So, yeah. <laughs> they gained more escaping than they did sticking around looking for this person. Queen of Pentacles! Once again, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. What can we see about this person? She's getting the power from this right here. And I feel like because this per they ran away from the person they were looking for, <clears throat> they were able to learn how to manipulate like the magician. Because the Queen of Pentacles, she can manifest shit on her own. Like, she's very powerful, especially on her own. Yeah, look at her. She's trying to join her candle to the rest of the light. Trying to use the light to influence and match. Trying to get her candle to become part of that. Look at that. Oh, look at all those flowers. That's actually pretty pretty. It's got the Sephiroth tree on the back of his coat, too. So that's pretty good symbolism. It's like infinite ability to access. It's like, yeah, the sun's coming up, but I have my own light, too, and I can access this. And because of that access, there's a release of secrets. You know, uh, 
Could be Cancer or Pisces in this once again. They're able to tap into things that are hidden. Maybe use their intuition a lot more to find stuff because the moon has a face right here. So it's like, hmm, I can see right through this shit. And it's like they're looking somewhere else. They're not looking presently. They're looking somewhere in the background. Like, it's like a sixth sense almost. <clears throat> oh. Hmm. What? Okay. What the fuck does that mean? <clears throat> I'm drawing one more because I'm not sure what that page of cups is. Like, I don't know if they're offering their cups somewhere, or maybe they're getting ready to try to find something new with, within these secrets. What is this page of cups right here? The Empress. Someone who knows shit and isn't saying nothing about it. She gets her wisdom from the pool. Compassion. You know. It's like it, this person is able to get downloads in order to know how to be able to love again. Now mind you, this does not have to be an earth sign. It doesn't have to be a Capricorn. It could just be somebody um, emulating these energies. Right? It could be somebody just expressing this, but I really feel like it's an earth sign. And yeah. But yeah, this person is getting a lot of information downloaded to them. Yeah, like, dreaming about, like, almost getting away from shit, even though they don't know where to go because they're tired of being everybody's fool. And now they're looking at possibly trying to create a new reality for themselves. So that is very, very expressive right there. Okay, what are they trying to find off with the Seven of Wands? I wonder. Oh, that was way too many. <laughs> I know it was on um, the Three of Cups with Blonde, bl Red, and Black Betty. Bam, lamb. Um, I guess there's a third party. Yeah, they're trying to, um, they're fighting to make something better for them. Either their home, an investment somewhere, or they're trying to get a home, stabilize a home. Yeah, definitely trying to manifest something. They got a little piece. Just a piece. That's all I need. That was a quote from, like, a video game. My apologies. <laughs> Can I just say, like, video games are a great, like, novel medium? They have great... Well, the older ones have great stories. Nowadays, like, eh. Me. Let's see. What's the next card? Uh, wow, okay, there's a lot of... Hmm, I want to say risks and action. But I don't think it's bad. It's like... Once this person gets their peace, it's going to be a very powerful change. It's going to be drastic. It's going to be intense. It's going to be something. It's going to be a, a definite changer. It's going to get them out of the Eight of Swords mentality. And since it's reversed, what is this that they're trying to escape from? How do they get out of this? What will come up with this Eight of Swords reverse? Yeah, this, this is a, a fucking pretty good reading, I have to say. Whoever is this person is, like, they have a lot that's coming up for them. Like, good shit, I feel like. Yeah, this is the whole, like, you know what? Let's take that action and we're going to roll with it. Double whammy. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to punch you. I was trying to punch the thing and I totally forgot you were there. My bad. But yeah, double whammy. And I keep making my cards. But this person is just like, you know what? I'm going to go. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to run out. Fuck the booty. I'm going to go into the lightning. Let's go. Like the horse came down without its wings and now this dude's riding it. Like, mmm, power. Yeah, totally like getting away, going towards this um, Knight of Pentacles. The ocean is vast. The possibilities are open. Like, wow, this is a really great reading. There might be something that they feel like they can't start, though. I feel like. 
I think there's uh they're not sure where they should shine their light at, honestly. Something about resurrection. Or maybe trying to create something right here. Bring something back from the dead. You know? Maybe they're trying to resurrect themselves. Like I said, like, um, the death will change a motherfucker. It really will. And I feel like this person is trying to resurrect something, and I feel like it's more like themselves than anything else. No situation, no people, themselves. They want to bring something back of themselves. We got the Seven of Pentacles in the very end. Flower in the desert. What are they up to? That's four? Yeah, okay. They are realizing as they're looking inside that, like, the illusions are gone, the mask is gone. Like, not even paying attention to this tower right here. Like, it's been dead forever. The mask has never mattered. You know? I wonder if you guys can see that. I hope so. It's pretty low. Um... Something to do with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. video. I don't, I don't think this is the right person. I think the, like... Hmm. King of Cups? Maybe they realize they were selfish about something and they want to resurrect, definitely want to resurrect something. This is a death card once again, but it's on shadow side. So it's like these people are all like back from the dead. Like things have died, but it's been transformed and resurrected again to start something new, refreshed. That's why there's some chick just doing yoga in the background. At least I think she is, or maybe she's got her arms spread. I'm not sure. It could be either or, but yeah, it's like a, a, a renewal of sorts. This is a very, oh my god, this is actually a really gorgeous um, read. So what's going to come up next? Because I'm curious. They might not want to take a leap of faith when it comes to something to do with their happiness. Or maybe they felt like they were restricted from that. They could be dealing with Leo who didn't want to take a leap of faith to them. Or didn't have faith, or was scared of something. They might have felt left out in the cold. Might still be feeling like it. I feel like they're trying to talk to this person, and the other person's too sad to think of things. And it makes them feel like this whole scenario, whatever this is, like, maybe they think that they deserve an apology somewhere, or... They feel like they're not, like, they feel like they're not going to get one. Like, they're holding out their hand expecting this from this person, and this person isn't even looking at them in the eye, and it's like, oh, you're not going to give me an apology? Okay. So, they're making a head-over-heart decision. And they're going to look damn good doing it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Strength. They're going to, yeah, this part, yeah, whoever this read is for, like... Strength all the way. Very graceful. Could be Leo, could be Libra right here as well. But definitely, um, this person's got a lot going for him so far. It's just going to take him a minute. But yeah. Like, this is like... A reading of like... This is like someone becoming a... What people would call a high priestess. Especially with the high priestess right here. It's like they're about to get there. It's going to be like that. And once that happens, ooh, that is going to be some, like, juicy, 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 juicy awesomeness coming to this person. Like, holy shit. I am jealous, but I am so happy for y'all. And I feel like I kind of res resonated with this, so I'm kind of excited, too. I can't wait to see what happens. Um, thank you for watching my video. This is the ending of the reading. Um, I'm not taking personal readings until either the 8th or the 10th. But if you're interested, like, just hit me up in my email below. It's in the description box. I don't charge, but I do take tips and donations, right? You all have a wonderful day, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.